Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to join the Particle Testnet Phase 2 and earn as many party points as possible. So the first thing to do is to sign up using the link in the description and once you open the link you will see the tab like this so click on start and click on launch. You can also click on join now. So once you do that you will be asked to connect your wallet. So click connect wallet. To sign up on the Particle Pioneer Testnet involves three steps. The first is to connect your wallet, the next is to enter your invite code which you will find in the description and the next is to bind your Twitter account. For the wallet connect, you have three options. The first option is the EVM connect. This is the option to connect using your EVM wallet and if you connect using your OKX wallet, Intoken wallet or BitGet wallet, you will get a bonus of up to 150%. The next option is the BTC connect. This is an option to connect using any of your BTC wallet. If you use the OKX wallet, BitGet wallet, or XVAS wallet, you get a similar bonus that I explained earlier. And the last one is to connect using a particle wallet. This doesn't give any bonus. I recommend using the EVM connect, which you will most likely be familiar with. So once you connect your wallet, enter your invite code. Once you've entered my invite code, the next thing is to bind your Twitter account. So follow the prompt on the screen to bind your account. The first step is to click on bind Twitter which will connect your Twitter account. The next step is to follow the particle Twitter account. And the last step is to join the Discord channel. If you are getting the turnstile error while connecting your Twitter account, refresh and try again or connect with a different device. Try using a new profile if you get the turnstile error. Click on your profile icon at the top right. Click on the add button at the bottom to add a new profile. Or if you're getting the error on PC, sign up using your mobile device. If you get the turnstile error when you connect one wallet, try connecting a different wallet. What I mean is this, on mobile, if you're using BitGet wallet, so how you connect to the particle testnet is to open your BitGet wallet, go to the browser section, enter the link you got from the description and try to sign up. If you get the turnstile error, go to your OKX wallet and try the same thing. If you still get the turnstile error, use your Intoken wallet or any other wallet that is supported on the particle testnet. So these are a few of the ways to deal with the turnstile error. Once you sign up on the particle testnet, you will get a universal account which you will see at the top right of your screen. And if you click on it, you would see the address here. This is the account you will be sending tokens from on the particle testnet. Now this is your available gas. And this is the owner address, which is the wallet address you use to connect. For example, I connected using my EVM wallet and this is the EVM wallet address. So this address owns this universal account on Particle Testnet. So on your points dashboard, you will see your OG score for the bonus. So you can get a bonus of up to 150%, which multiplies the points you earn for your Testnet transactions. If you scroll down, you will see a bonus wallet tax depending on the wallet you use to connect. So click on the button to complete the tax and earn your bonus points. On the particle test net, you can earn points by depositing universal gas, which is the USDG, by checking in daily, by making transactions, by buying NFTs with universal liquidity, by performing code test net transactions, and by claiming boost in the booster section. And I'll talk about each of these in a moment. So what you will use for gas fees is the universal gas, USDG. To start making transactions on the particle test net, you will need to deposit universal gas, which is USDG. So to deposit universal gas, scroll till you find the option to deposit, which is this in my case. You will only earn points once for depositing universal gas. So click on the deposit option. And here you can deposit universal gas from any of these supported test nets. So click on the drop down menu here to see the supported test net that you can deposit from. If you have the native testnet tokens for this testnet, you can deposit tokens from them. And there are lots of faucets you can get testnet tokens from. If you don't have testnet tokens, click on how to get testnet tokens and you will see a guide on how to get your testnet tokens. Otherwise, check out the link in the description for some of the testnet faucets you can use to claim your testnet tokens effortlessly. So in this case, I want to deposit from my Arbitrum Sepolia testnet. So I click on Arbitrum Sepolia. Here you can see the amount of the native token on the Arbitrum Sepolia that I have, which is 1.38 ETH. So I enter the amount of ETH I want to deposit, and I can see the corresponding amount of USDG that will be deposited to my universal account. 
So to deposit, click on Deposit Universal Gas and accept the approval request in your wallet by clicking on Confirm. You can see I've successfully deposited. You can also make a deposit through an external wallet. So to do that, click on Deposit to an external wallet and connect the wallet you want to use to make a deposit. An external wallet is a wallet that is different from the wallet you use to connect. If you don't have testnet tokens in the wallet you connected to the testnet and you have tokens in another wallet, you can use this option to deposit tokens from that wallet. Remember, USDG is the universal gas token for the particle network testnet. Like I said earlier, you can convert tokens from other chains into USDG and use it as gas to send transactions on multiple chains. So once you've deposited your universal gas, you can start using the testnet. So click on back to go back to your points dashboard or click on the point on the menu to go back. So the next thing you want to do is to check in. So scroll till you find the daily check-in option. I've already checked in for today. If you haven't checked in, you will see the option to check in. So click on the check-in button and accept the approval request in your wallet. The more consistent you are in checking in, the more points you earn for each check-in. If you check in for seven consecutive days, you will earn 150 points for each check-in. If you check in for 14 consecutive days, you start earning 200 points by check-in. If you check in for 21 consecutive days, you start earning 300 points by check-in. And if you check in for more than 28 days consecutively, you start earning 500 points for each check-in. And if you miss a check-in, you have to start from 100 points again until you get to 500 points by check-in. So the next thing you can do to end points on the particle testnet is to send tokens to multiple chains. To make transactions, open your particle wallet. You will find the particle logo at the bottom right of your screen. So click on it to open your particle wallet. So here you can see your universal account. Click on the copy icon to copy your universal account address. Once you join the particle testnet discord, you can share your universal account address in the general channel so that others can send you test tokens. So to make a transaction, click on the send button and select any of the tokens to send. You can use USDG or X. So in this case, I want to send X. The next thing to do is to enter the universal account address of the recipient you want to send tokens to. You'll find my address in the description. So send me tokens daily. Also share your address so I can send the tokens daily. To get more addresses, go to the general channel of the particle discord. So scroll and you will see other users that have shared their addresses or you can ask for addresses in the channel and other users will be happy to share theirs. You also find a list of some universal account addresses that I've collated in the comments. You can copy them and use them for your daily transactions. This user has shared their universal account address, so I copy it. I enter the address here. Now you can see the option to add to address book. If you want to add the account to your address book so you don't have to always copy and paste, click on the option, select the name you want to use, and click save. If you want to get addresses from your address book, click on this address book icon and you will see a list of all the addresses in your address book. So to select an address, just click on it and it will paste the address here. The next thing to do is to select a destination network for your transaction. You can use the default or click on the drop down menu and select the destination network of your choice. So once you do that, enter the amount of tokens you want to send and click next. Click send and wait for it to bring up the Cloudflare verification. Click the checkbox to verify you're human if you get the Cloudflare verification error, refresh and try again. If you also get the turn style error, use the method I shared earlier, which is trying a different device, refreshing, or if you're on PC, creating a new Chrome profile for the testnet. So I accept the approval request in your wallet, I click confirm, and my transaction has been sent. So I click on the X button to close and make another transaction. So that's how to make the cross-chain transactions. You can use this drop down icon at the bottom to minimize the wallet. So you get 100 points for each of these cross chain transactions, a maximum of 50 times per day. And here you can see how many transactions you've completed. What this means is that you can earn a maximum of 5,000 points daily for these cross chain transactions. So you earn points for sending and receiving tokens across chains. Now, the second type of transaction is the co-testnet transaction. This was just introduced recently and these are transactions in which the receiving chain is either Bera Chain Batio Testnet or the site Testnet. For each co-testnet transaction, 
you will earn 50 bonus points. Now remember, these co testnet transactions are also cross chain transactions. So you earn 50 points for sending to Bera Chain Batio or Say, and you also earn 100 points because these transactions are also cross chain transactions. Meaning that for each transaction, you are actually getting 150 points except you've reached your limit for cross-chain transactions. So after you've exceeded 50 transactions for cross-chain transactions, you only earn 50 bonus points for the co-testnet transactions. Remember your bonus also applies to the points you're getting. To make a co-testnet transaction, open your particle wallet by using the open wallet button or by clicking on the particle logo at the bottom right of your screen. Click on send just like before and instead of using it, change the token to USDG. So once you change the token to USDG, you will see that either site testnet or the bear chain battle will be auto populated as the destination chain. You can also click on the drop down menu to choose the chain of your choice and you will see that the site testnet and the bear chain battle are included. If you're using it as a sending token, you won't see Bera Chain Batio or say testnet in the list of the networks. So to make a co testnet transaction, make sure you are sending USDG. So once you do that, enter the address of the recipient. Remember, it has to be a universal account address. I want to send to an address on my address list, so I click on the address list icon and I choose an address by clicking on it and I enter the amount of USDG I want to send and I click next. So just like before, I click on send and I wait for it to bring up the Cloudflare verification. Click on the checkbox and I accept the approval request in my wallet. So now I've made a co-testnet transaction. So I click on the X to go back to my wallet. I've noticed complaints from several people that they do not endpoint for their transactions. The reason is that they are not making cross-chain transactions. Now, to ensure your transaction is a cross-chain transaction, make sure that what is showing on the network bar here is all networks. If you switch to a different network, that will no longer be a cross-chain transaction. So if I click on the drop-down menu at the top here and I select a different network, if I make any transactions on this network, it won't count as a question transaction and I won't earn any party points for doing so. So make sure your network is on all networks for you to earn points on the particle testnet. But not to worry, the network is always set to all networks by default once you open your particle wallet, unless you change it yourself. So that's how to make cross-chain transactions and co-testnet transactions. Remember, you can make cross-chain or co-testnet transactions at any time by clicking on the particle logo at the bottom right of your screen to open your particle wallet. Now, the next way to earn points on the particle testnet is by buying NFTs with universal liquidity. So to do that, scroll to you find the buy NFT options, which is the tax for here. So you see here, purchase NFTs with universal liquidity. So for each of these transactions, you earn 100 points and you can earn points for a maximum of 10 transactions per day. What this means is that you can earn a maximum of 1000 points for purchasing NFTs daily. So to purchase the NFT, click on the purchase NFT button and click on purchase. Select the token you can use for payment. You can select USDG or ETH, but I prefer USDG because it's cheaper. So click on USDG and click on next. Click on purchase. Wait for the Cloudflare verification. Click the checkbox to complete the verification and accept the approval request in your wallet. So now I have made my first transactions. So I click on close. Now, if you are making transactions too fast, you will get an error and let me show you. So if I click on the purchase again, I select the token USDG, click on next. I click on purchase. I complete the verification and I accept the approval request in my wallet. So you can see the error you are sending too frequently. Try again later. If you get this error, just try the transaction again. I feel it's a way to filter out bots and avoid spamming the network with multiple transactions. So after a transaction, whether it's a cross-chain transaction or minting an NFT, wait for about 45 seconds before you make the next transaction to avoid this error. If I mint this NFT again, it will go through. If I select the USDG as a token for gas. I click next. I click purchase. I wait for the Cloudflare capture. I complete the capture. And I accept the approval request in my wallet. So now you see the transaction has gone through. So after every transaction, just wait for about 45 seconds before you make the next one.
On the particle test net, you can also claim boost for holding NFTs and for meeting some milestones on the test net. So to do that, click on the booster menu. You'll also find the link in the description. If you had Ali or Capybara holdings before the snapshot, you qualify to claim your bonuses. Apart from having some specific holdings, like I said earlier, if you meet some milestones on the test net, you can mint some of these boosters to get your bonuses. I've minted about two boosters here. You can see this one the particle pioneer level one booster if you have at least 50,000 party points you can mint this nft and get a 10 percent power bonus on the people's launch pad for this particle pioneer level 10 booster you need to have at least 100,000 party points to mint once you mint this you will get a 30 percent power bonus on the people's launch pad if you don't qualify to show us not available if you've already minted it to show us got it and if you qualify but haven't minted you will see the option to mint just like I have here. So this is the code test net with one NFT. You mint this once you've completed 200 transactions on the Bera Chain Batio or the say test net during the first code test net wave. So keep making code test net transactions as much as possible while this NFT is still available. So here I click on mint, I click on confirm, and I wait for the Cloudflare capture. Click the checkbox to verify and I accept the approval request in my wallet. So that's it, I've minted this NFT. So you find the people's launchpad under the community menu, hover over the community menu and click on people's launchpad. You also find the link in the description. So to learn more about the people's launchpad on the particle network, check out this guide. You'll find the link in the description. So that's it about the particle test net phase two for now. Remember, sign up using the link in the description, deposit universal gas, check in daily to claim your party points, and make transactions daily to earn more points. Buy NFTs with an universal liquidity and claim boost on the booster page. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in my Telegram group. The link to the group is in the description. Join my Telegram channel for more particle test net updates, crypto airdrops, tips, and tutorials. Remember, this is the season of Telegram airdrops, so check out the bonus section of this video description and sign up on some of the hottest Telegram airdrops today. So keep claiming your party points daily, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.